In this video, I'll show you how to build WPF applications in Visual Studio Code with PowerShell and PowerShell Pro Tools. Uh, we're going to be using the PS Script Pad integration um, to actually use the WPF designer that's available in uh, PS Script Pad. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually make sure that we've installed uh, PowerShell Pro Tools. And then from there, we want to create a new uh, XAML file. So uh, XAML is an XML-like syntax that you can use to define windows uh, for WPF. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create um, a new window. You can see here we just have a little XML um, that defines a window. It sets the title um, and then the height and width of this window. Uh, once you install PowerShell Pro Tools, what you'll notice in the top right here is anytime you open a XAML file, you're going to have this Show uh, Form Designer button. When you click that, it's actually going to open uh, PS Script Pad. And so what this is going to do is it's actually going to read this uh, XAML file that we've defined. And you can see uh, it shows the window that um, we defined inside uh, Visual Studio Code. So you can actually go ahead and do things like um, edit this window. So I could say, uh, hello world. And you'll notice that at the top here that uh, hello world updated in the designer. Um, additionally, you'll see that when you save it, Visual Studio Code will automatically pick up that change. Um, let's add a couple controls to this particular form. So I'm going to add a grid with um, a label and a button. And you can see right when I copy and paste those in there, um, they show up in the designer. Uh, and once I save that, what I can actually do is I can uh, do things like move it around. I can also change the size of it. And then I can do things like changing um, the content. In addition to being able to edit the uh, text on the bottom here inside PS Script Pad, the other thing that you can do is you can click Properties, and the Properties window will allow you to select controls, and then it'll fill in all the available properties that you have for this particular control. So if we wanted to put a little exclamation point here, we could do that, and you're going to see that it has updated here um, inside the designer as well as the, um, the bottom down here with that exclamation point. So let's save that. So this is kind of the uh, XAML um, designer experience. Uh, but if you want to actually integrate this particular XAML window with PowerShell script, what you'll have to actually do is create a PowerShell um, PS1 file. So I'm going to create a window.ps1. And um, we can actually write some PowerShell script to load up that XAML file, display the window, and actually make it interactive. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to load the WPF uh, assembly. So depending on your PowerShell host, um, this may be loaded already, but it's not loaded um, by default in every PowerShell host. So make sure you load a presentation framework, which is the main WPF um, assembly. Uh, next, we need to actually load up our uh, XAML file. So I have a little helper function that you can find in our docs called uh, import uh, XAML. And what this does is it uh, reads the content of the window um, as XML. Uh, and then it uses the pretty much the XAML reader class to read that XAML in um, and then produce a window uh, based on the XAML that was uh, edited in our designer. So what we can do then is we can actually call um, import XAML and then store it in a window variable such as this one. And then if we say window.showDialog, uh, it's actually going to pop up um, the XAML window. So if I click Run, you're going to see it's going to run my PowerShell script. And at the bottom here, I have uh, my window. You can see it says Hello World. We have the label. And then we have a Click Me button. So you can see it's an interactive window. I can resize it and maximize it and everything like that. Um, so let's actually exit out of that. Um, and let's actually add a little more functionality to uh, make it so that when we click the button, it does something. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually want to grab a hold of the controls that are defined within our window. And we can do that based on name. So since they're part of the window um, itself, uh, you can use the find name method to find individual controls within that window. And these names are coming from uh, in the XAML, the X name attribute here. So you can see this one's called label. Uh, this one's called button. Uh, you can name those whatever you'd like. And in this case, I am then looking up those controls based on um, the names. So I'm getting the label and storing it in the label variable and then the button in the button variable. Uh, next, I want to add an event handler to uh, the button so that when it's clicked, it's going to actually update the label. 
So what we can do there is we can use the add click method to add a new event handler and then pass in a script block uh, that's going to be executed when that button is clicked. Um, next, uh, what we can actually do is call uh, label.content and then store the uh, hello string into that property. And what that's going to do is actually update the label uh, with that new content. So now when we run our, our form, you're going to see that when I click this button, it's actually going to update the label to the text that I specified inside my event handler. So uh, in this video, we went over how to use the uh, WPF designer inside PS Scriptpad and VS Code to actually design uh, WPF forms inside Visual Studio Code.